before we start today's video, I just wanna let you guys know that the sound library I've been working on for such a long time now, Obsidian, is coming very, very soon. Join my free mailing list today and you'll get early access once it drops and you'll also get the opportunity to get it for the lowest possible price. Join the email list before the two week countdown commences for Obsidian and you'll also get access to seven exclusive beat making tutorials that won't be available anywhere else and seven free kits as well. Join by following the link down in the description and I'll see you over there. Yes boys, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, today we're going to be making a beat for Pop Smoke. Um, RP to Pop Smoke of course. Today we're going to be making a drill beat. Basically what Pop Smoke is known for. Some really hard drill shit. Remember if you're new around here, subscribe, hit the bell and you'll never miss a video. Let's get into this. So we're going to be working at 142 BPM G sharp minor. Um, we need to start with a melody. So what are we going to do? Kind of want to get a guitar. There's a lot of Pop Smoke songs have guitar melodies in them. like that this could actually be made to sound crazy so I'm to half time this sound sharp to C sharp see that's what I'm talking about that's what I'm talking about man come on let's try and reverse this maybe I don't even know what to do anymore Okay, so it's literally taking me like half an hour to get to a point where I actually like anything, but okay, I guess, we're all good. So we come up with this. That's what we're gonna work with from now on. It basically, I'll try and like edit this so that you guys can clearly understand what just happened, but basically just had a bit of a rough start with this one, but I feel like we can still make this a banger. So, okay, we need to boost this sound. I'm going to trim and lengthwise. There we go, made it a bit shorter. Copy that over. I need to add some effects to this melody ASAP. We need a reverb, which we're just going to do. So very basic. Let's get rid of this low in. A bit of the time as well. And RC20 on it. Could use that to start of it. That'd be hard. Uh, trim all the way up, length. That's perfect. That's exactly what we need. Don't want to do a little slide. Not slide a roll. Do a bit of velocity change as well, make it a bit more bouncy. Thank you. 
put a kick. Why is it not sliding now? There we go, now it's sliding it. I suppose what we can do is we can just stretch this beat out and then decide what we want to do afterwards because I'm kind of just a bit like, oh, what do I do now? But I don't know, we'll see. We're going to add a slight variation in the second half of this. So basically I'm going to try and just make this a bit more structured. Um, so I'm trying to basically do a little build up here by taking away the kick, slowly bringing in all the other drum elements. But what I feel like I'm going to do is I'm going to put a love filter on this. Just filter it out at the start. like. Like this. Put a little riser in there. That could be hard. Turn this down, put a, a, put a big reverb on it. That's what we need to do. So that sound like, this gonna sound sick. Like when you guys are struggling with structuring, what you can do is if you want to just like organize a bit better, you can just select where you want to be, press Control T, and you you make these little markers, which you can obviously rename. It's like rename, like so I call this one chorus intro. This will be kind of like I don't know pre verse or something, pre hook, it's like a little warm up kind of thing. That's how long my my verse is apparently, <laughs> but it actually needs to be about this long. So we've got to do something to fill this gap here. Now it needs a vocal, you know, it needs a vocal. All right, we're going to do a vocal from Arcade. I haven't used Arcade in ages. I'm trying to get my money's worth out here, all right? I'm trying to get my money's worth. Oh, 
hard. Okay. Problem solved. So now the drop sounds like this. I'm gonna do a flute on this. Oh wait, it's a recorder. Because it is just not sounding right. I mean, it's sounding right, but it's just missing something, bro, I'm telling you. Yeah, babe, I'll be done soon, all right? You have to play that, you're scaring the cat. All right, sorry, love you, bye. <laughs> all right, let's put it in a, in a mixer channel, turn it right down and auto-tune it like we did last time. If you guys haven't seen the other tutorial, we need to check that one out because we actually did a madness. But instrument retune speed all the way up. Maybe reverse it. Reverse, maybe, I don't even know. Gross beat on it. Hard. There we go. That's hard. All right. So that's pretty much the beat done. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Make sure you have a fucking good night now. Uh, <laughs> I don't know why I said that. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe if you're new around here. Make sure you leave a like on this video if you want to see more content like this. You already know what to do. Um, Obsidian coming soon. Obviously, we used it exclusively in this beat as well. Oh, and also sign up to my email list and you will get Obsidian before anybody else. You'll be notified and everything. And also, you'll be able to get it cheaper than before anybody else. You can't lose, really. So, yeah, subscribe to that. I'll leave a link to it down below and I'll see you guys very soon. Peace.